I ordered a sealed booster box of Paradox Rift from the TikTok shop. Since its initial release on November 3rd, prices on this set have dropped significantly. So when I saw this box on sale for $79.99, I couldn't resist. It is pack rat time. All right, here it is. This is the box of Paradox Rift that we ordered from the TikTok shop. This is exactly how it came and I kept it here in the brown box, the brown shipping box to really show exactly what it's all gonna look like. Let's get it. Of course, Let's I had to black it. off the, uh, black out the uh, personal info, but Ooh. this is exactly how it came. I kinda like that. All orders from all, order from all pokeTCG.com to save over 20%. Sign up today and receive a coupon. Cool, look at that. So this is uh, the shop that we ordered from. All Polka TCG. Never ordered a single item from this shop ever before. Scan me. But the box looks great. It looks like it was shipped well. I, you know, I'm a picky guy, Kaz, so I would always like to see like a little bit more like padding or something like that, you know, just around the box or whatever. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, it's no big deal. Paradox Rift. Should stick all the way down. This should go all the way up, and there we go. Professional. There is our 36 packs of Paradox Rift from the Tick Tock Shop. And yes. you already know what we got to do, Kaz. It is pack rat time. We are going to open up packs today. Give me something good. Give me something good. As uh, always, well, I'm going to just say it. Another beautiful day in Minnesota, buddy. Absolutely. What a fantastic winter we had. Can't yeah, lie. The winter has been incredibly chill. It's like the is... warmest. I saw on the news the other day. Yes, I watched the news. Um, it was like, uh, they are saying it was like the warmest winter ever in Minnesota. It's just crazy. Yeah, and absolutely but... insane. I mean, I'm a, I'm a big fan of ice fishing and I got out like two single times. Uh, <laughs> and I mean, it was like, you know, not even like to the point where you could uh, drive a car out on the ice at any point this year. At least here in uh, the Minneapolis area. How much people still do it? Yeah, some idiots probably, but um, they had some better ice up north. Me, I'm not going to ever risk falling through the ice, especially with a vehicle. So. Reverse, reverse. Oh, Dang. let's go, baby. First, First EX. Of the day. Cool card. Really yeah. cool. I like the coloring. I like the, the pink and the... The background. Heck yeah, buddy. And you know, any day where you're opening up Pokemon cards is a beautiful day. Kofa Gurgis. Oh, where do they come up with these ones? They just throw letters together. Right? Absol, Norman, Perloin, Magby. We Man. haven't opened a straight up booster box in a while on this channel either. So. No, the, the last time we did was actually, I think, the Obsidian Flames video. Yeah, because. We did a box of that, and did we do a box of this as well? I don't think we did a box of Paradox. No, we actually opened one off camera. That's right. That's we right. were, you know, it was before we actually started uh, uploading content consistently, and we were like, yeah, let's just open this up. And we didn't have like the right know-how to uh, set up the camera and, you know, get everything like all smooth. Which, I don't know if you guys know, but it is not easy to get, to set everything up and have the right lighting and everything, as we learned the hard way. Yeah, it does take a little bit of um, trial and error, but what doesn't in life, you know? Like anything that you do is gonna, you're gonna, you just can't be afraid to fail. You gotta just keep trying and anything that you think you can improve on and do better with, um, you know? I think that our goal is to make every video better than the last one. I like that. We should have like a, words of, I feel like a Wednesday live stream, words of advice from the back rats. Yeah, I can't wait till uh, we have enough uh, subscribers to the channel where it will be worth going uh, live streaming. It's gonna definitely be really fun snow run. As you know, Kaz, I already stream like Fortnite on Twitch. So I do already enjoy the vibes of a live stream. Absolutely. Haven't had a chance to really open um, cards or anything like that on live, but I think that is definitely the goal later down the line. That might be a cool thing to try out. Maybe we do like a, a stream on your Twitch or something. We just do a, cause we could always just take that content and turn it into a video as well. Yeah, like screen record it. Yeah, yeah, that'd be really cool. I have uh, been seeing Cool Trainer Ryan go live on uh, YouTube lately. He's getting um, some pretty crazy numbers and doing some pretty crazy things. So shout out uh, Cool Trainer Ryan. He's, great uh, name, great name by the way. <laughs> he's doing really cool stuff. Uh, he was opening, I think he ended up opening two cases of, uh, 
what was it? Uh, Chilling Rain. He was looking for that Blaziken, and the title of the stream was not <laughs> not quitting opening Pokemon cards until I pull the Blaziken, and he ended up not pulling it, which is incredible. <laughs> I mean, of all the packs he opened, it was insane to uh, to, to not see the Blaziken. Long story short, he quit the stream. Yeah, he ended up, uh, <laughs> he had to. I think his hands probably hurt from opening all those packs. I mean, it was uh, four and a half hours worth of uh, just pack openings, and I can only imagine how your thingy tips were feeling at that time, you know? And talking about this product specifically, too, so we're looking for, I don't know if we really said, mentioned it yet, but the top three cards in this set we were looking are like the Roaring Moon. Um, you got the Iron Iron Valiant, I think, is the other one. It's, and then the, um, oh, what's the last one? Um, the Gold Gold Angle Full Art card, which is really cool as well. So. Yeah, that Gold Angle Full Art, yeah. I haven't, we actually did, when we opened up our first booster box of this uh, off camera, you know, when it first came out, it was literally when it first came out. So, as I mentioned earlier in the intro of the video, this set actually came out a little while ago now. It came out in early November. And uh, we ended up getting a booster box right around the time where the first week it came out and pulling, Taz ended up pulling um, the one the Roaring Moon uh, The best card in the set, which is that Roaring Moon card that you're talking about. And in our first booster box. <laughs> I don't expect that kind of luck to repeat itself today, but hey man, we love opening up packs. And if I did pull that, I'll just give it a little scream or something, you know? Just or see, Joltik. Got a couple cool cards so far. Nothing absolutely mind blowing, but some really cool looking cards. Just is, a hollow in that pack. Is there gold cards in these in this booster set too? I think uh, there's. There's gotta be. They're, they've been in like all the. I think is this the one with the gold window or is that obsidian flames? Uh, that one is obsidian flames if okay. I remember right, because yeah, yeah. in the video that we uploaded where I bought the obsidian flames box off of TikTok. I remember we had pulled a gold card that wasn't the Charizard gold card. That's true. That's true. And we said something like, yo, this is actually low key a good sign because if that gold card isn't the Charizard, it probably means that the, uh, that we might, you know, it's more likely, hopefully, <laughs> that we pull the uh, SIR. Which, and you want to know what we did? Yeah. We pulled the SIR. That's a good move. That was a, a great time. I love just making memories with opening up cards, guys. And it's really fun to actually document it, too. That's cool, man. A palm, another just a normal hollow there. We appreciate everybody tuning in. Tuning in. Yeah, I think for our next video, I'm, we're gonna switch up gears again, and uh, I have some really old vintage 1990 hoops basketball boxes, and uh, I know that our boy in the comments section, Nick, um, was asking about uh, maybe opening up some basketball cards. So I'm thinking, Kaz, we go, we go Jordan hunting. Oh, we got the Michael Jordans, we got the Larry Birds, we got the Irvin Magic Johnsons. Yeah, there's I'm gonna, excited. there's gonna be a bunch of Hall of Famers in that, uh, in those sets. And uh, even though it's nothing, uh, probably we're not pull, gonna pull like you know anything absolutely crazy as far as like the value. It's still just so fun to just rip open a ton of packs. Uh, we do have two booster boxes of it, and they do have like 36 packs in each one. So we. Should definitely hit some Jordan cards. I'm excited to look at, it's fun to look at. So I opened a couple of those boxes and just seeing how the centering used to be. Oh the man. centering is horrible on those yeah. cards. That's kind of like the goal is to not, it's not to pull the Jordan card, but it's to pull a, a well-centered yeah. Jordan card. Condition, just in general. Because 90% of them are just, uh, you know, off the printer just not gonna be anything crazy there's also i'm gonna save it to talk about it in that video but there's a lot of uh there's a lot of cool other cards than just like there's a lot of cool cards in there with stories in them so like oh yeah in, i know like, exactly in backgrounds people like there's a lot of mm -hmm. cool, uh, different stuff to talk so we'll talk about that later yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll see yeah. That yeah, yeah. That's gonna be a good one, actually. It'll be fun to uh, just hop back into the old '90s because that's where m my love for uh, for card collecting actually began was uh, basketball cards in the, the '90s. I was and, eight years uh, in the making, but who's counting? Yeah, I'm an old man now, but you know what doesn't change, though, Kaz? Your love of what you loved when you were a kid. You know, the older you get, the um, the more you just want to enjoy the things that you did when you were a kid. You know, it's like I miss those feelings of pulling a, a Charizard out of a pack of Pokemon cards, or your favorite basketball player out of uh, the pack of like you know NBA hoops. 
and it really, really it's cool back then because they didn't have the autos they didn't have the the yeah. numbers right 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 there was no serial number card it was just uh it was just is what it is and uh, one of these videos i'll actually show you guys some some basketball cards that uh, I pulled when I was a kid uh, in 1997. I got to open up basketball cards that ended up and ended up pulling some uh, Kobe Bryant rookie cards. Oh, we should do a video of your collection, bro, yeah. for sure. Yeah, That'd and your uncles as well, too. Yeah, that'd be a really cool video. So stay tuned for that. If you guys like basketball, you know, let me know down below. We got ideas. We got, some, we got some other stuff going on. But as far as today, we are focused in on this Paradox Rift booster box that we acquired from the TikTok shop. I have bought a few things from the TikTok shop. This is the first um, booster box of Paradox Rift or uh, anything from this specific seller, which we mentioned earlier was uh, all Polka TCG. So you could find them on the TikTok shop. They appeared to have good ratings and this uh, booster box was 79 99 free shipping so the only extra fee that i did end up paying was just some tax on it which ended up being close to like 87 dollars total not bad at all but to open up 36 packs of cards you know we'll take it Ooh. cute little joltic full art card really cool really cool so that was that the last of the one side there so uh, i think i already started on this right side oh okay yeah we're cruising through these we got a couple of, uh, couple of cards there. Nothing crazy yet. Nothing crazy. But... I haven't seen any of those top three cards that you mentioned earlier. It's always fun to hunt, though. You know, if uh, I like to go fishing quite a bit, Kaz, as you know. And uh, to me, I still have a great day fishing if I don't catch anything. You know, it's just a. It's about the hunt. It's about being out there searching. You know, treasure hunting is just a really fun time, no matter what. Even if you're not getting anything, I believe that if you if you keep going and you don't give up eventually you'll find those treasures that you're looking for so we're on the hunt again today for some treasures in the form of beautiful pokemon cards Ooh. and look at that there's one right there not the oh, our trainer card there's, a, there's one better than that of those i believe in this side but cool not card. a super good one but still really good card. i like it uh, we're gonna see some cards that we've never pulled out of Paradox Rift. Like I said, we had only really pulled, or we've only really opened uh, the one booster box. So, Joltic card, really cool. This is only the second that we've opened. There's gonna be something crazy coming, right? Did we ever figure out? Is there? That's a really cool card. Ooh, another, yeah. I love the art on this one. Uh -oh. Sandy Shocks. Is there a? Is there a gold card in every booster box? No. Uh, I want to say yes through my experience, but without actually like fact checking that, I don't know. I just feel like I've seen them pretty consistently. So this was probably our big hit of this box because this is our SIR actually. This is it actually? Star, yeah. Cool. It looks really sweet. I actually love the art on that card. So this, and this is the, the first set with the ancient future stuff, right? Yeah, so this was, and then uh, the last one uh, that came out is, uh, or the next one that's coming out is going to have more of them, I believe, right? No, the last one. What was it just now? Uh, no. No, no, that doesn't have one. Sorry, guys, I'm stupid. I, I don't remember exactly. It's hard to keep up with all the Pokemon sets and how they switch things up. But the new set is coming out, Temporal Forces is right. coming out uh, march 22nd right yeah really soon so we'll be on that we'll be dropping videos as soon as it comes out yeah i think we'll have to stop by our local card shop and grab a booster box Absolutely. the day it drops or maybe we'll both grab one or something and is there booster boxes for this set actually yeah there's gonna finally be like uh paldean like fates had a good booster box, like an actual booster box in so long yeah the paldean fates um sadly is a specialty set so there's no booster boxes for those available the best you can do is get the uh, booster bundles, which we did open up a handful of those, six of them to be exact, in our last video. Go back and peep it if you want to check out all the shinies that we pulled from that. But I've been having a lot of fun creating new content for this channel. Um, it's just the beginning. Everybody. Only the beginning. And what's cool because we just started uploading content last month. 
and I think between all of our videos, we have somewhere close to, I think we're nearing 15,000 views on the channel. Almost 15K views, yeah. Dropping a, a new short every single day. And shorts seem to go crazy. Yeah, people are enjoying the shorts, especially when it's just the opening of the pack. You might just do the short attention span. Everybody has these days. Parasol Lady, Porygon, Octillery, Orthworm, Tulip, Whismer, and Iron Valiant EX. Ooh, really cool. I don't believe that's the super good one, but... That's okay. I don't think that we've pulled really like a lot of, if any, maybe one double hit so far that we've doubled up on. But uh, yeah, the, yeah, I think so. this is a bigger set than uh, all the, I'm pretty sure it's the maybe the biggest in the Scarlet and Violet era as far as how many cards are in it. I remember they ended up combining like three Japanese sets into this set, so it was pretty large. So it would be pretty difficult to find every, you know, or if you're trying to master set, this would not be an easy task. But after watching all the Paldean stuff with the shinies that people are looking for, oh my goodness, I, that might be the most difficult. Uh, I don't know, these, these uh, modern day sets have been pretty hard to, if you're trying to pull everything in it, it's been nearly impossible, I wanna say, especially for Paldean Fates. I wa I've been watching Poker Rev open, open up tons and tons of cards. And uh, in one of his more recent videos, Rev, um, opened 100 packs of Paldean Fates, and he added like two new cards to his binder. <laughs> I mean, it was brutal. But he's going hard, and it's always fun to watch packs get open. Magby, Absol, Simisir, Tinka Tink, and another normal. Get down to the nitty gritty here. Yeah, we got about five packs left. All of this was purchased from the TikTok shop. All Polka TCG, the name of the shop. It did take uh, about seven days between me placing the order and the uh, package arriving. So not horrible, you know, I would love to see it arrive within, you know, four or five, but it is what it is. Not everything is in their control. Sometimes things get held up in shipping, you know, it goes past. All right, come on. We gotta get one more something out of here. One more something. One more something. Crowbat, Roar, Steamy, E-Boss. Ooh, that's a sick card. Let's go. Veluza. Uh, looks like a shark. Yeah, very cool card, very cool card. I like it. Yeah, I love the artwork on a lot of these. Um, especially the full arts are just so beautiful. So we got uh, three packs left. I didn't even think about it. I, I gotta get better. Oh, I gotta caught that pack. Oh. You did? Yeah, you just do that and I caught it. Nice, bro. You could play for the twins. Shout out Matt Walner. <laughs> Swablu, Tula, Belooza. We just pulled the full art of that Pokemon. And just another Ching Pao. And then there were two, everybody. I just want to say thank you for watching this video all the way through. I really appreciate you guys. It's um, It's been a real pleasure creating content on this channel. Um, like I said, we're planning, we're planning our next video already. And uh, I'm really excited about it. But I would love to hear what you guys enjoy seeing. So please, take a second. If you're new, subscribe to the channel. Hit that like because it supports us. And uh, comment what you would like to see us open next. Blitzel, Zekrom, and the last pack before we do a quick recap. Definitely pulled some uh, really pretty cards. This is the code card for those that partake. Handseer, Slow Roll for the dramatic effect. Nicket, Ligar, Litbug, Garbodor. Future Booster Energy Capsule, Screamtail, 
Porygon, and Parasol Lady, and, and a Roaring Moon EX. Hey, awesome. you know what? Uh, the last pack or the last box we opened, Kaz, we ended with a Charizard EX. That's true. And now we're ending it with a Roaring Moon EX. Not a bad boy at all. So, Here's the, a quick uh, little recap of some of the cards that we pulled out of this booster box. Like I said, we purchased this booster box through TikTok shop. It was on sale for $79.99 before uh, taxes. There was no shipping. Um, typically with a TikTok order, you aren't gonna see, um, it's gonna be a free shipping usually. But uh, these are the pulls that we got. Some pretty cool cards. This one's really pretty. I love the colors on it. And uh, we're definitely, we have a few more to add to the collection and a few to add onto our eBay shop, which is uh, packratcards.com. Easy peasy. Hope you guys have an amazing week. Appreciate you, all of you, every single one. Grateful as heck for you. And we'll see you, pack rats, at the next one.